Okay, on the shelf of the chem lab, section A contains supplements, section B contains reg re reagents, and section C is kind of harmful chemicals. A bottle poison labeled as section C has been placed in section A to the shelf. It must be what we found on in front of the shelf. There was a broken bottle in the front of the chem lab sh uh, shelf, which is labeled chem C4. A powder on the floor is assumed to have come from this. According to Byakuya, the powder would have been spilled AFTER the incident took place. AFTER the incident took place. So, whoever the killer was left this behind. AFTER the incident took place. Okay, at least he's kinda complimenting me there! Try again. At least he kind of complimented the, me there for a second. Oh, I could kind of see why you said that, but it's actually not that answer. All right, good. The evidence that shows who switched them, it has to be... It must be what we found in front of the shelf. Okay. What we found in front of the shelf... Is it the footprints? So I'm getting close, right? Someone has left footprints in the spilled powder of the chem lab. These footprints appear to only be left most... My God! There we go, okay. The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. Whoever left the footprints has to be wearing sandals from what it looks like. Let me check real quickly, though. Let me check the footprints real quickly. Yeah, it actually kind of does look like shoes. Honestly, it could be any shoes, honestly. But where it is, it has to be, like, completely... No, that could it could be that the... Uh... Thing was oh whatever okay. There are footprints on the shelf. You're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. All right. What's more, the footprints were in front of section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. Okay, but that kind of doesn't make any sense. Wait, no, no, wait. Hold on, let me think about this. The culprit must have gone to section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving the footprints behind. But in order to swap the poison and the protein, wouldn't they have to go to section C? Something that doesn't have the footprints? So whatever it is, they must have... Why would they cover their tracks like that? Like, not cover their tracks, sorry. Why would they leave out their tracks like that so obviously? Maybe the footprints are from Sakura's. And I guess she noticed- No, no, it said that the- The thing was after the murder took place, right? Okay, this is getting real confusing now a little bit. There was a broken bottle, so uh, according to Byakuya, yeah, the powder would have been- Spelled after the incident took place. Okay, so yeah, it took place after the murder. So whoever... The corporate must have gone to section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving the footprints behind. But they would have to have the poison ahead of time, so they would plan this. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints. They're mine. Uh, Hina? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then... Ogre's killer was... Damn it! I did. I killed Sakura. Turns out there's actually a fourth killer on the loose. Oh, fuck. Okay, Aoi. Just as I suspected. Damn it, Aoi. I knew it, but I didn't want to admit it. Prints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. Also, they kind of look like sandals to me, but uh, whatever. I must be a blind the fuck if I'm wearing these glasses. Who wear sneakers are... Wait. Really? <laughs> I, I thought that our character would wear at least wear sneakers, or maybe even Sakura herself. Person wearing sneakers here are Makoto and <laughs> me. And he wait, did Leon wear sneakers? I don't know. I don't know why they would mention him, but it would be me and yeah, I wore sneakers, didn't I? Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, 
so be up here. That explains why you... These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning a crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. Maybe it's what Sakura wanted? That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then, she downed it, all at once, and, and then... Hold it! I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Alright, uh, Kyoko, what the hell do you have to say? A person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves, just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. Alright, Kyoko, what the fuck do you have to say? How many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery. And I'm not convinced. Alright. What the hell is this one unsolved mystery, though? A chair has been jammed against the door within the rec room, blocking access from the outside. It is believed that the killer did this to create a locked room scenario. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well... That doesn't matter! Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? That is true. It's too obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That is true. That was... I was just nervous. So... I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah. That's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. But how come? That doesn't matter. Aoi, please Hina. tell us. Please. I'd like to know too. F fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. The is the criminal. No, who knows, honestly. Ahead, if he's the criminal, he's been covering his track very, very well. Honestly, if he is the killer, he kind of deserves to. To, uh, he kind of deserves to graduate, considering how his very, very complicated, complicated tracks have been, whatever, okay. Right away, I went to section C and got the poison. 
And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay, then. Go on. All right. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. That story you just told. First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Okay. Y yeah. But if that's true, there would be footprints on section C going outwards, wouldn't there? Isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long? Until we figure it out. Until I uncover the full truth of this case. All right. All right, source of the powder, chem lab shell, footprints in the powder. All right, prepare for a long doozy experience, Let's guys. Section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. Okay. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. And that's where I switched the powders. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Wait. Honestly, that's enough. Where's the fucking poison? Wait, what? How much longer must we tolerate this? Yeah, that's... Uh, first up, God damn it. Wrong one. I, I might just press square, not start. A bottle poison labeled as section C has been placed in section A of the shelf. Yeah, the poison bottle. The bottle poison labeled as section C had been placed in section A on the shelf. That's a contradictory then. In the chem labs, were, where were the footprints and what direction were they facing? Oh my god, that's another idea as well. Those facts clearly contradict what Hina just told us. But, okay, hold on. First I went to section C. Chem lab shelf. Is that... Hold on, let me... Chem lab shelf. Is that the, uh... It's specifically what it says. Chem lab shelf. Okay, good. That was in section A. That's what does she say again? Poison. Grab the poison from section C. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the snack. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped the okay. pill. And then... I moved from section C to section From section C to section A. Once I was done switching them... I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section A. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, filled with the protein powder, which is actually a poison bottle, but filled with poison. Okay, never mind. That's not it. Source of the powder, so the footprints has to be it, is it? I got nearly five hearts, so I could kind of fuck up as much as I want. That's when I got the poison. And I grabbed the bottle. Okay, and then I'm in section C. So that has to be it. The footprints. There should be footprints in section C. You said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to section A. That contradicts what you just said. What? Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? 
I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. Uh, what the? Hina, what's the meaning of this? Uh, um, well, you lied to us. Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Well, we see. What, what the? What the hell? What's going on here? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. Really now? Evidence? Impossible. They're withholding evidence within the courtroom. Isn't that illegal? Well, then again, this is the school. I want to. Mr. Monokuma. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did. It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Just say it already. What is it you think you found? I found this. A piece of glass? It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle, and the hidden clue was exposed thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. But, but, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? I'm kind of lost in this regard as well. Why, what's with the glass? It's not red, so it's not nothing like the bottles that Monokuma had. Huh? Me? Yeah, why? <laughs> Putting me on the spot all of a sudden. Fine. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard. I I I, I don't honestly. Hey, right. the shard of light blue glass Kyoko found in the bottle of poison. I think I remember now. I broke something in the same shade of blue. The Monokuma bottle, the bottle of poison, the rec room window. I got. It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window. The window we broke to get in was light blue. <gasps> oh! Oh, I forgot that the fucking glass was below the thing, too. So, the broken windows was beforehand. You're right. It must be. Of course, that so leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the rec room window? According to what Hina told us... Uh, what, what, huh? What? Oops, uh... Right, no evidence. Fuck me, okay. Uh, is there a way to at least review previous dialogues before I... God damn it, I didn't remember what he said according to what Hina told us. Me. That was a lucky guess. Of poison was left on the oh, okay, that's what he said. Okay. That is what you said, right, Hina? Uh, um. And yet, somehow, a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie. In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked, there's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Hold on, you're moving too fast. I know, I can't also, I honestly can't process all this memory. The bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked, but how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain This that. is one long convoluted fucking trial, which will be explained later. 
Okay, this is the interesting part. They were actually finally talking about the boys, and the one thing I didn't pinpoint is who exactly killed her, which I was kind of predicting that it was Aoi because of how fast she was going with the... We wanted to get to the vote already. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So, but maybe she thought that she killed her with the poison? That's a nice twist. That's a nice M. Night Shyamalan twist, I gotta say. It's very entertaining. Uh, okay. Be right back. I need to... <laughs> I need to process on my brain real quickly, so be right back.